Hey y'all, so let's make a really pretty chord. Hey guys, so in my quest to find more fun crochet gadgets, I came across this lucid fork. It's also called a chain fork, but this is definitely not anything new. This has been around since like the medieval times, <laughs> but it basically is just like a two prong fork that you use to make really pretty cords. And I'm just gonna show you one way that I like to use it to make like nice drawstrings, okay? So first thing you're gonna do is just feed your yarn through the little hole that's on this fork. And then you're gonna begin to wrap the yarn around the, the prongs of the fork. So you're gonna follow along here, but basically what we're doing is just a figure eight, wrapping it around the left, into the center, and then again around the right. So it looks something just like this. Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna show you one more time because it's always easier to get it sometimes a second time. So just follow along here, through the middle, around, back through the middle, around, back through the middle, and then around. So essentially now, if you look at the one prong on the right, you should have two loops. Using this little pick thing that came with mine, now they don't all come with little picks. So if you don't have this, you can use your finger or you can use a little um, darning needle. You're basically gonna lift that bottom loop over the top loop and over the top of the prong. Just like this. See, so far so good. Once you've done that, you're just gonna turn your prong to the left and now you'll still have two loops on the right side. See there? You'll have a bottom loop and a top loop. You're going to lift the bottom loop over the top loop. Now this is just a repetitive thing and you'll end up with a very pretty cord in the end. Okay guys, wrap, turn your um, fork to the left and then on your right, you'll have a bottom loop and a top loop on the right. If you notice here, you every time you turn, you'll always have two loops on the right prong, depending on how you're looking at this. Okay. Again, turn and then just lift over. This is so satisfying. If you guys like quick projects that turn out really neat, yep, get you one of these. <laughs> and you may already have one if you do, but I enjoy using this. It's been really, it's really fun. Okay, so you see here, I accidentally grabbed the top one. You wanna make sure that you only grab that bottom loop. If you grab the top one, it will mess you up. Bottom loop. Now, that little string that's in the center hole there, you can pull that out. It doesn't have to stay there. Matter of fact, as your cord gets longer, you'll probably want to wrap it around the bottom part of your handle just to keep everything just going in the right direction and kind of out of the way. So just continue working, pulling the bottom loop over the top loop, and it really makes a really nice uniform cord. So it's great for adding embellishments to your finished crochet creations, whether it's a drawstring. You can even like create necklaces with this, or if you make it long enough, probably even like nice little belt. So like the possibilities are, are kind of endless. It just makes a really nice uniformed um, cord okay so if you see here again every now and then you might end up picking up the top loop instead of the bottom loop and that's fine just make sure that you do pick up the bottom loop and when you try to do it with the top loops you'll notice it it won't feel quite right it will just feel really loose and so you know oops I must have grabbed the top instead of the bottom but the, the string should just line up perfectly when you turn it right over the top right over the bottom loop so everything will kind of keep flowing this is a really fun project that works up really quickly it just feels really gratifying when you can get something that comes out so symmetrical and so pretty. And it just adds that extra little detail to your crochet project. So I highly recommend if you do not have a lucid fork, pick one up. And like I said, this was a little cheapy one that I got off Amazon. I should say cheapy, but inexpensive to the level that I've seen these kind of range in price but it served the same purpose. You wanna just, once you're done, you want to pull your two loops off your prong and then you're just gonna feed the tail in um, through the two loops. So once you cut your yarn, then that piece, you're gonna feed it through the two loops and then just give it a nice little tug and that will create a nice little knot at the end. If you wanna add another knot, that's fine just to keep everything secure, but the one knot did turn out okay. So it really turns out pretty guys. This is such a nice little uniform little cord. Really quickly here, I did try it with a bulkier yarn. This, I think it's a five or a six bulk, I can't remember. I will say though that that small hook that I used, the, the small fork, it was a little challenging. You had to keep the yarn kind of pushed down. So if you know you like using chunkier yarn like I do, 
it may be worth investing in a, a different type of hook that's a little bit more wider. The prongs might be a little bit longer. But overall, this was such a fun project and I'm so happy that I could share it with you. And if you've never tried it before, I would suggest that you do. I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you can see the one that I got. And again, like I say, these are sold all over Etsy. They're on, um, I think Furl Crochet Hooks has one on their, their website. So worth checking out, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.